Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shannon Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful land of the Netherlands, where we are number one in the world. And we're currently at war with the Ottomans, the Golden Horde, Pasai, Cusco, and Kalchakwi. So that we can take some land for a new colony creation down here in the Peruvian area. And from Pasai, so we can take uh, a little bit of land from him before we go for his capital in the next war. And the war with the Ottomans, I'm not really worried about it. It's, it's, um, it's Russia's war, so I don't really care what happens in that one. In fact, we might be able to peace out here. No, not yet. Oh, we'll get there. I mean, uh, eventually we'll peace out. As soon as we're done with all these wars, I want to annex Switzerland and Mali. I wonder if we can annex Ulam at the same time. When's our... Uh, 1625. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we can annex all three at the same time. Just use all of our diplomats. That'd probably be pretty good. But currently we're sinking an Ottoman fleet, which has uh, no troops on it, so I don't know what he's doing here, other than losing his fleet. It's a little silly that he's over here, just losing his fleet for no reasons. But whatever. <laughs> Didn't even lose a boat. Goodbye, Ottoman Navy. Yeah, that was his that was his entire heavy and trade fleet. That was all he had. And it's dead now. Why would he do that? I don't know. That's a little silly if you ask me. We're sending a bunch of ships over to the Caribbean to try to, you know, be be pirates of the Caribbean, steal some money. Looks like air has got some rebel problems. And Mali has cored the new gold province. Great. Okay, siege complete. Let's move on. We should be ready to piece out these guys pretty soon. I hope. Ah, new troops. Good. Keep on sieging. We're only looking for, what, four provinces from Pasai? It's not that much. I think we're done with all of our cores, am I right? Uh, no, one more. What's still coring? Oh, okay, Jambi, and yeah, these are coring. But they're getting there. We'll finish soon. There goes Siak, move on. Yeah, he's got a surprisingly large army for a nation this small. Also, looks like we got attacked somewhere. Oh, okay. Alright, whatever. No big deal. Lost some troops. Lose 2.5 mercantilism or lose Diplo? Well, I'm sure as fuck not losing 2.5 mercantilism. You out your goddamn mind. You out your goddamn mind. There's Ottoman troops in Holland. That's okay. Does it really matter? I don't think it really matters. Although we might want to cancel our ship production here. So that we don't... Uh... Why can't I cancel that one? I don't know. No navies? Why does it say one navy then? The fuck? Still says there's one navy building, but I can't cancel it. That's weird. Yeah, I don't really care if Ottoman siege a province. Whatever. Guaranteed by Castile. I wonder if Castile would even bother fighting us over there. You know, probably not. He probably is not interested. Claim Ijebu. I can do that. I can fabricate a claim. The plight of Gelray. Lose money or lose production for 10 years. I'm not going to spend 400 ducats on one province. You're crazy. Why would I spend 400 ducats on one province? <laughs> That's just silly. Yeah, why would I care... 
Why would I care about the Ottomans being up here? I mean, what's... It's not really a problem, is it? I'll send some troops over, I guess, but I don't really see the problem. I know we can beat their armies, but we'd have to ferry over, you know, multiple stacks. Just seems like a waste of time. Political maxims of the Republic. Okay, strengthen the status, lose Diplo, or our colonial governor leaves. You know what? You've you've had a good run, colonial governor Gabriel, whatever your fucking name is. But it's time to move on. Let me trade that that trade efficiency is really nice. Also, keep converting. This guy is living nice and long. He's 52 and still going strong. I like it. the hell? Rebels? Where? Air, oh, air nobles. Alright, just stay out of their way and they'll leave me alone. They're not going to siege my land. They're just walking, they're just passing through. No, that's not a good enough peace deal, you son of a bitch. You know what I want. I've sieged it all up. Now give me my land, you son of a bitch. Why are you not patrolling trade? You're completely full health. Why are you not patrolling trade? I'm losing so much money because you're not patrolling trade. What the fuck are you doing, you stupid navy? Every single ship is at full health. Get out and patrol. What the fuck? What is wrong with this navy? Oh, is something damaged? Oh, for fuck's sake, there's one ship at 99%. Wow. Well, there goes several hundred ducats for no reason. What a fucking waste of time that was. One ship at 99%. No, I've got to dock up all 200 ships. You kidding me? Okay, we just sunk the Pasai Navy. That's great. Let's go block the port over here. Or blockade the port, I mean. Look at this uproar. Get an infantry or don't get an infantry. Or fight rebels. Fine, give me... One whole infantry. Whoop de do. One infantry. And you increase the revolt risk by 10. But it should be okay, I think. Yeah, it should be okay. Alright, do you want peace yet? Yes. Okay, I can take a little more cash too. Can I get war operations? I already got it. Alright. So that's peace over there. And we're going to get a colonial nation here when these cores finish. So Twitch chat, we're going to need some names. And uh, let me tell you straight up, I don't want no shitty names, okay? You guys better come with the goods. I want to hear some good motherfucking suggestions, okay? For colonial Peru. Also, it seems Russia has turned some of this war around. Yeah, he's winning battles now. So that's good. Let me set my vassals on aggressive. I 
I think I'm going to go attack that stack and squish it so we can start carpet sieging. Uh, yeah, just leave that. Let's go kick some ass. Hey, what up? I don't need no general. top France real quick. Looks like England's going to lose his war with Madurai, which is kind of cool. I hope that's the case. Also, oh, this colony is pretty much done, so we should be safe to take the dude out and go over there. I think. Let's wait one month. Okay, we squished his army. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. Spread out. And that's it for that war. Alright. So is that it? How many, how many dudes? Ah, oh, fuck. Come on. Come on. 989. Damn it. Alright, well, we're kind of... Our hand is forced here. We're just gonna have to trust that it doesn't fucking break down. Need to go eat Turnitay, but to do that, I really want to get a colony going. Is that colonized by someone? That might be colonized. I can't tell. Uh, the color could be... I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway, split in half and blockade the other side too. Portugal is at war with Malacca, but I don't, oh, there he is. And he's got 10 soldiers. All right, so Malacca's dead. Portugal's just going to full annex him probably. And that's okay. Uh, we'll deal with it after the war's over. I mean, we'll deal with it eventually. There's really no rush. In the meantime, hmm. I'm tempted to fabricate some more on England up here. I really want to get more control of the English Channel trade node, because that's where all of our money is, right? How much do we make here? Only 85 ducats? Oh, no, 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 157. Yeah, we make so much money on this node. And I also want to eat some of the Hansa, so we can get more strength on the Lubeck node. But all in due time, right? All in due time. Colonist still hasn't arrived. Oh shit, California exists. Fuck me. Castile already has a colonial nation over here. Alright, so we are we are way, way, way slow. Oh my god. We are way slow. Uh, but let's get started on Canada up here. So we can start heading over that way and try to block him off as much as we can. Oh, fuck me. We are so slow on this. He's already got a colonial nation. He probably has Alaska, too. Fuck. All right, next month we're going to finish this colony. That's great. And we can finally build our cathedral here in a sex, which means we can get rid of the religious center. The problem is it takes two years to build a cathedral. Yeah, exactly two years to build a cathedral. And the problem is our dude might be dead by then. And even if he's not dead, we're going to need him to live for several more years to finish the conversion. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. Well, maybe, I don't know. Alright, let's see if we can pick up some of our buddies here and go kill that Ottoman army, because he has no general. Uh, we can swap in our 4-3, put on the checkbox, uh, make them all like that, and let's go. Come on, Burgundy. Follow me to battle. Burgundy? 
All right, I, what, what the fuck? Burgundy, you are set to supportive, right? Yeah, he's set to supportive, but he's not attaching to my army. What the fuck, Burgundy? You know what? Fuck you, dude. I'll do it without you, because you suck. That's right, Burgundy. I said it. You suck. Why are you not helping me, Burgundy? Burgundy? What the fuck, Burgundy? You're my vassal! That's fucking annoying as hell. And on that day, no shits were given. France wants help against Spain. Oh, what is this? French conquest of Navarra. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. Holy shit, am I in. France, who else are you going to call into this war? You're going to call in Milan. Is Milan going to join? It looks like he will, unless he's too busy with his other war. Now, this is a problem because I really don't want to have to fight uh, the Hansa at the same time. And they're going to be a really, really, really big thorn on my side. But maybe, maybe what we can do is finish this siege here of Galray. There's only 708. Maybe we can finish this siege of Galray and put our dudes back on the boat and just get out of here. All right, let me slow down time. Okay, there goes that Ottoman army. Just assault the fort, man. We gotta finish this shit. Come on, finish this. There's only 400 people there. Fuck you, you're gonna fail. How do you fail against 400 people? There's 60, There's 69 people left. Come on. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, we got Gilray back. So now we can dock up and uh, get out of here. And then we'll join the war. On the boat you go. And let's just go to SX. I think we'll be safe in SX. Um, yeah, we should be fine in SX. All right, so let's go ahead and join the... Well, let's we'll get our troops to SX first. Then we'll join the war. The only thing that sucks about this is it means we can't annex our vassals for a few more years. Because this war is going to take some time. But it should be okay. Yeah, he can't... Apparently, France can't call Milan into the war. Anyway, I'm in. Put me in, coach. Put me in, coach. This is going to improve our relations with France a little bit. Uh, what's the new world look like? It looks okay, really. South America is tough, but North America is a cinch. I think North America is fine. Yeah, you can have access. Whatever. Apparently, the Hansa has a navy up here. That's okay. I've got a navy, too. Say hello to my navy, Hansa. Am I even going to lose a boat? I lost a trade ship. Oh no, I lost one trade ship. Oh no! <laughs> that was fantastic. So the Hansa's navy is dead. Uh, there's still 29 heavies and 190 lights that we're going to have to fight at some point. No, I don't want to merge navies unless we really have to. What I am worried about is some of our navies, like here in the Ivory Coast, some of our navies are a little bit exposed. I might as well go invade Portugal here. Some of our navies are a little bit exposed. So we'll see. Yeah, this would be a good time to take all of Portuguese Africa. And maybe we should take this stuff down here too. I got troops here. Let's go take it. Let's go siege it up at least. I do have a claim on Natal, don't I? Yeah, I do. And the Portuguese Navy over here... Oh, I can lock them off. I can I can lock these troops into that land. That's hilarious. Let's do that. This is so awkward, because we're at war with, you know, this... 
world wrapping empire, Portugal and Castile. It's hard to imagine fighting all of this at once, but maybe we can do it. I don't know. Let's see. Let me steal a colonist. No, not you. You need to work. Maybe you. Yeah, I'll steal you. And let's go colonize a little more of the Philippines. Oh, we're engaging in the Caribbean. That's cool. There we go. Sunk your navy. Fantastic. We have fleets all over the world. That doesn't necessarily mean that we can engage everyone all over the world, but we do have fleets everywhere. Yeah, we should be okay to beat up all this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're sinking all, we're sinking all their transports, which is great. If they can't move their armies around, then there's no way they can actually fight us. And that's good. Ultimately, though, France is the leader in this war. All right, there's the Hansa. France is the leader in this war, so they're going to be the ones who determine how we peace out. I really don't have a say in that. Go get California? Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe we should go steal California. We'd have to core it all. But I could do that. How overextended are we? Eh, about halfway. What's up, Hansa? Want to fight some more? Okay. Yeah, let's let's go. How's that working out for you, Hansa? Oh, you have no more navy anymore. I'm so sorry. Me so sorry. Oh, yeah, that's right. Our colonial nation is still at war, aren't they? And that's a completely separate war. The war with Caribas is a completely separate war. Interesting. Is Caribas in this war? Yeah, Caribas is. So what this means is if we sink if we sink Caribas fleet and destroy Caribas army, we can unsiege all this land for our colony, and our colony can go siege all that shit up. That's a good point. That is a really good point. So why don't we see if we can't ferry some troops over? Maybe that's what we'll do with this army that's in Essex. Is we can ferry them to the New World. Since we pretty much destroyed a lot of the hostile navies out there. If we ferry these guys to the New World, we can go unsiege all this shit. Let's go do that. Let's go do that. Are we at war with Castilla? Oh yeah, we're at war with all of this stuff. But we should be okay to go drop off troops. Um, where's a good place to dock up? Right here. So we'll go dock up in Guadalupe. And then from there we can go uh, unsiege Cuba. Pasai wants peace. Uh, do we have everything we want? Not yet. Not yet, Pasai. Sorry. Soon. Soon, trademark. Yeah, I like this. We've completely blocked Portuguese army, so he can't actually win his war against Malacca. What province did he declare for? He declared for... Oh, it's just a conquest. He doesn't have any claims. So yeah, he, I mean, he'll have one province sieged, but I don't think that's enough for ticking war score. Eh, maybe it is. I really need to explore the rest of New Zealand. Do I have a general? I do have one general. Okay. Hmm. So if I drop some troops off, I can go wander around over there. That'd be fun. Lenape is Western. Oh, that's right. I have to eat, I have to eat Lenape at some point here. And yeah, this could be an opportunity for us to feed New Portugal to Belgium. Uh, does Belgium have claims? No, he has no claims. That doesn't mean we can't feed him, though. Let's go beat up this army. And then we'll go siege Louisiana here. Ah, Portugal, you poor bastard. One of the things that sucks about fighting wars just all over the place like this is it's hard to tell what's going on where. It's hard to tell what units are in danger or whether you should be paying attention to the east or the west or, or what. Because there's so much stuff going on, you know? 
Mikado and Arkansas. Yeah, we do need to convert those, but let's keep focusing on the tough places first. The places that need this missionary strength advisor. Get a second general. Actually, instead of a second general, I'm considering getting a um, considering getting an uh, an admiral for our, for our navies. Like over here, here's a big Portuguese navy. I can't really fight that. I'm going to lose that trade fleet, unfortunately. That's what I think I'll do. I'm going to I'm going to take my main navy. Come on back. I'm going to take my main navy with the transports. And uh, together, we should be able to fight off all that crap. Yeah, and this navy in the Caribbean is just going to have to dock up. Because they're just in too much danger right here. Just go dock up. Hey, what's up? How's it going? How's it hanging? I heard you guys had a colony over here. That's pretty awesome. I think I would like that colony. Yeah, I know the trade fleet's stocked up. It's okay. Alright, so he's probably going to retreat to Chitimacha. I'll follow him there, and then we'll carpet siege. Again, we're not the war leader in this war, so France ultimately has the final say in what gets taken in the peace deal, if anything. He may give us nothing, but hopefully he'll give us stuff. Wow, he is just fucking raping Castile. That is disgusting. There we go. Chitimacha is being sieged. Great. Commonwealth still has rebels everywhere, and he's getting invaded by Brandenburg at the same damn time. Poor bastard. Okay, colony arrived. Very good. Alright. Merge the fleets for now. Put the troops on there, and let's go. This is a pretty damn good navy. We're going to take it to the Caribbean. We're going to dominate the Caribbean. We're going to sink any fleet we come across on the way. We're going to dump our troops. Oh, we don't even need to. Uh, Shendonesia has dropped troops in Cuba. All right, well, that's essentially what I wanted to do anyway. So that's great. Now, this is dangerous over here because we can't get our navy here in time to help out. And there's nothing I can do. So unfortunately, our colony, Belgium, is losing its entire navy here. It's too bad. But we'll, we'll wipe up that Portuguese fleet eventually. It's going to take some time. Don't forget to let France negotiate for you. Yeah, that's actually changed. You can no longer you can no longer uh, turn that off. It's automatically always on. And I actually don't like that. I think the, the new settings for uh, dealing with allies being the war leader, the new settings are terrible. All right, I just want to take all of my claims, if you don't mind. Wow, that's 52 overextension. That's okay, I, that'll be perfect, because I'm at 48 right now. All of your money. And war reparations. Great. Core it. Core it. Core it. Core it. All right, so we're finally at peace with Pasai, and in the next war, we'll just full annex him. Yeah, we're sitting on a hundred over extension, but we do have. I mean, cores are coming in. They'll just take some time. It should be okay, though. Siakan Nationalist. What else we got? Makassari Nationalist. Kilwa Nationalist. There's a lot of rebels we're going to get because we're at 100 over extension. But we didn't go beyond the limit, so it should be okay. 
Yeah, it wasn't planned that way, it just sort of happened. Why do I have a dude? Oh. I have a dude just randomly sitting down here for some reason. Alright, where's my giant navy? This this navy rocks. We got a lot of work to do, this navy. I'm gonna set my colonies and vassals to aggressive mode. Go nuts. Hopefully we can find... There it is. Hopefully that Portuguese Navy will stay over there so that we can... Uh, ooh, cheaper tech. Hopefully they'll stay over there so we'll uh, have time to get in there and kick some ass. Because if the Navy goes away, then I don't really know what to do about it. I can't really chase them around the world. They could go, they could go literally anywhere in the world. All right, here we go. Oh shit, we are really damaged. Actually, he's trying to engage us. Wait, no, he's not. No, he's not going to engage us. All right, let's uh, let's go dock up. Saint Lucia, maybe. Maybe I do want to engage. I mean, we're hurt, but we can probably still kill that fleet. Um, yeah, maybe we do want to engage. Oh shit, now we're going to a different province. It won't matter. We'll still be there in time. God, so much damage. We just took so much attrition. So this is a major problem. The pathing, the pathing algorithm took us through open seas. Look at this. He's still in open seas. The pathing algorithm could have given us maybe 5% attrition on the entire journey. But instead, it gave us 50% attrition simply because it took us across open seas, open seas, open seas. And the reason why the pathing algorithm does this is because the AI does not take attrition with boats, ever. The AI simply does not suffer attrition on boats. They just don't, so they can just sail the open seas forever. What this means as a player, though, is you have to babysit your troops and your boats all the time. And it's a big fucking pain in the ass. I really hope Paradox changes this. There should be a setting here to take the least attrition. Because I would just always have them set to take the least attrition. But that would require them to change the pathing algorithm so that it could actually hug the coast. If you hug the coastline, you don't take attrition. You just don't. But since the AI never takes attrition anyway, the pathing algorithm simply doesn't give a fuck and it just goes over open seas everywhere. But now here we are arriving. We're taking 12% attrition every, every fucking month because of bullshit. Anyway, hopefully we can sink this navy. Oh, we can't. We can't fight because... No, no, we can fight. Why aren't we fighting? There we go. Just had to unpause. Okay. Sink the navy. Don't take losses. Don't take losses. Okay, good. We lost... We lost two trade ships. That's fine. And that giant Portuguese fleet is dead. Let's see if we can sink this fleet as well. Can we get there in time? No, we can't get there in time. Alright, let's just go to Cuba. And let's start on sieging Cuba. And we can heal up in that port. But yeah, there really should be some different settings for the... For the pathing algorithm. The pathing algorithm is just bad. Oh, cool. We're engaging other fleet. Can we sink? I think we can sink that fleet, yeah. Oh god, my voice is so fucked up. Come on, don't lose any... Oh, we lost a boat already. Don't lose any boats. Damn it, we're losing boats like crazy. Those heavies, man, they do so much damage. But we're gonna win. Hopefully we'll sink those heavies. Come on, sink the heavies. Yes, they're sinking, they're sinking. Rebels in... Whatever, don't care. Okay, so we lost six heavies, but we sunk all of his heavies. And we lost six lights, but we sunk all his heavies. And we sunk his transport fleet. That was the fleet that dropped off troops in Malacca. So he can no longer get these troops home. In fact, the entire enemy navy only has eight heavies left. We've done a good job. I hope France is proud of us. 
But you know what, though? We're out of time for this episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I have... And gals. I have been Shen. You have been you. And to the 5% of my audience that is female, see you later.